How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I'm up here with Pete. Uh, we're in a campground here in, in Lancaster, PA. So he's going to explain to me a little bit about what he's got done to his little box trailer camper conversion. And uh, one thing I really thought was pretty cool is his split unit. That's something that uh, I don't see a lot of on campers. So he's going to explain to us a little bit. Uh, this is Pete, everyone. And, uh, Hello. Really good guy, and he's going to explain to us a little bit about what he did to get this split unit on here. Cool. All right, so uh, let's see here. When I started the build, I started off with insulation. So let's we start on the floor. You can see I have two inches of insulation down here, and it goes through the whole front of the trailer. Um, it's pretty, the foam insulation is pretty durable, so I'm not worried about it getting wet and creating right. mold or any of that stuff. It dries out pretty quick. Um, we well, got insulation in the walls and the roof, and we'll show that in a little bit when I get in there. Yeah. Uh, but the, here's the mini split. Now, was that something hard to do? No, or? no. Um, remember we were talking a little bit. I, just, I was trying to use everything that I had sitting around because I didn't want to go buy stuff. Right. So I kind of, that's how this frame came about. I, so I had a two-inch piece of angle iron, and then I had this laying around. So I said, so I, so I can make my bracket out of just that, you know? Now, is that bolted right to the frame? It's bolted right to the frame. So this has a three-inch. You can see the, this, this tube right. runs pretty much all the way around. I have a little tie-down mounted right there. Um, but this is mounted right through that. Yeah. So when you get to that from underneath here, this one, one of the the beams are only what an inch and a half yeah, up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so one of them goes to that beam, and then the other one, um, I kind of put a little side. support yeah, over there, a little plate. Again, right here, there's a three inch right. beam right here. So that goes through that. So how it rides pretty good there. How many years you say you had it on there? I've had it on there for four years. Wow. I I actually I've only had one mishap. I almost had a mishap on the way down here. You can see something hit right here. I think it was a cone or a, cause yeah. I, I don't remember hitting anything, but this saved or cause it was gonna hit yeah. that, right? <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want that, that's for sure. Yeah, Now you it's solid, like I, before I mounted it on here, I was standing on here, jumping right. on there. Making sure it's making not gonna sure go nowhere. Because I'm 200 pounds and this thing's only 60 pounds. You know, yeah, so. that's pretty cool. Now you say that already, come, it comes charged already? Yep. Yep. And so the, the unit will come with all the Freon and the oil that it needs for, they tell you, up to 25 feet. Yeah. So I bought a 25-foot line set. Right. And I was going to shorten it. I wanted this to run up here in my head like this, go in and up and then around. But when I started bending the copper and stuff, I got a little nervous. I was going to keep it. <laughs> so I, I didn't have any of the tools to properly right. do the 90s. Right. So I kind of just, this is what I came up with. Well, uh, it works. It's not really in the way because it's not it's not out past that fender for yeah, sure. It does, and I haven't hit anything with it. Um, crossed my fingers, and been good so far. But it came with the line set came with this little thing, and I, this is called what they call packing putty. It just right. comes with a thing, just stick stuff right. in there. No, uh, put some silicone. Now in. that'll heat or cool, right? Heat or cool, yes, sir. And it keeps it pretty cool in there in the hot days. Oh yeah, I nice. Leave my, I leave my dog in there and. Uh, at first, I was a little worried, mainly uh, from like maybe tripping a breaker or something right. throughout the day. But it, I've been, like I said, I've been going on four years, and wow, um, that's cool. So, so with that being said, so in the heat mode, this is a 120 unit. It's a 9,000 BTU. In heat mode, it will pull a max of 1,000 watts. Wow. Right? Okay. And then in cool mode, it pulls a max of 760 watts. Right. So you could actually run this off a thousand oh, watt inverter. inverter. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Um, which I'm not doing. I have a little. I have a breaker like you have. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, it comes charged, and you pretty much you hook up the line set, and then they have a little contraption. There's only uh, there's only one. How do they have this set up? So there's only one port on the low side. So when you have your gauges, you know how you have your you have the three. You have a high, a low, and then one that goes to the pump. Right. You're not. I had, didn't even use the high, so I only have the yellow and the blue hooked up. One goes to the pump, and you hook the other one up to right here. Turn the pump on, and then you um, it'll start vacuuming up the lines and the unit inside. Now, have you had this in cold weather? Pretty cold weather. Minus twenty. Minus twenty. For two weeks straight. Well, and it worked fine, huh? Fine. And that's with the insulation. You got insulation in the walls gotta too. Gotta have the insulation. Yeah. Gotta okay. have the insulation. When it was that cold. The the beams that are got I have the whole floor insulated, but the beams right here, 
Yeah. You could feel the cold spots when well, it got to minus cool. 20 inside. So that insulation really, yeah. wow, really did that. Uh, so how many miles you got on this thing so far? About 15,000. Wow. About 15 and 20. <laughs> I, I was still adding up some trips the other day that I had right. forgotten about. Right. Because uh, I had it in Colorado. I take it to New Mexico probably oh, six wow. or seven times. And then this the trip out here was 1,800 miles. So. So do you have any uh, future plans? Um, not, not really. <laughs> Mainly, I, I might do the, the lithium batteries because I only right. have 67 amp hours right now. It's an AGM battery. Right. But I might do a, if, if I'm going to run this off the batteries, I got to ups, upgrade that. Upgrade it, yeah. So, so maybe, we'll see. Yeah. Um, it's really, it, it's really coming down to like we talked about is like you get to use them. You gotta use the machine and you figure out what you want right. and you don't want, right? That, and so I'm got, kinda going through that right. process. That's, yeah. that's why we're gonna go home and we're gonna tear ours apart. Because <laughs> <laughs> we found some things we need to change, so. And you saw, did you see the plug? I got a little excited, because I was, I was like, I'm gonna have power. Yeah. I just mounted this thing, you can see it's a little crooked. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I uh, just got a little excited. Here's my solar input. So I have it set up for three solar panels. There's three little inputs right there. Yeah. And then there's a, there's a vent here and a vent on the other side that'll now pull air in when I turn that fan on. Yeah. So I can refresh in there. Well, mm -hmm. um, you'll notice on my video on when I built mine, I put air through the floor. Oh, did you? Yeah, I put I air through the floor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and then you know how you have your awning? I right. was going to put an awning on this side because this is where it's a little backwards, but, um, this is kind of where I had the room, and then I was going to spend 800 bucks on an awning. Right. I'm like, they, they sell some really good 10 by 10 shades now. Yeah. yeah. You just spend a couple, yeah. two or 300 bucks yeah. on a really nice one. Mm -hmm. I was going to set it up right here, and these are my tie downs. Right. Right, so I could right. tie this side down, and I only have to stake, stake the, the other, other side. side. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it's definitely a nice looking little rig, I'll tell you. And a lot of people don't understand how sturdy these guys are. They, they I mean, are. compared to a camper, they're really sturdy. Oh. I, I take this thing elk hunting. Um, I've had it. I've drugged this thing. You can see it kind of pulled, like, when I have oh, yeah. to certain spots, you know, because it's just, it's a see, beard down yours there. yours has the door. You load, you say you put four-wheelers in the back of yep, it and stuff? I have a, a Honda four-wheeler and two dirt bikes that I fit in here, and you'll see why I have it kind of opened up in here. Right. And I carry around toolboxes and stuff. In yeah. Here, so. Um, what else? Pretty much, that's it on the outside. All the lights are original. I, I cut these in after I did the insulation. Right. Which was pretty pretty easy. I just did the template. Right. And cut a hole right there and then use a jigsaw. Yeah, you know? that's and what we did. You know, Same I'm all thing. nervous doing it, but right. I was like, got to <laughs> yeah. We was too. A little bit of a mess in here. No, that's so okay. I'm relocating. I carry around my coffee maker and stuff just because I'm out doing I don't oh, know how yeah. I'm going to be living in here. So that's your panel box. Here's my panel box. So this is actually set up for 240 right two two phase inputs right. it's a residential and all i did is jump i'll put a jumper right between so it's yeah it's just single phase 110 yeah 110 power. yeah and you can see this thing's cooling oh wow Look i have that. it set to 70 it's um 64 degrees in here <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of that's the heart of the operation yeah right? this whole operation that's cool though and then um like I was explaining earlier, this, 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 and the battery were all installed in my Forerunner. Yeah. And I was using this as like a, to run this little guy. Right. And what I did is I just pulled it out and installed it in here. And I do have other plans. I was going to, you can see I didn't finish this. I was going to mount this right here, but then I was going to lose all this space. So I said, all right, it's still right. circulating good enough where it's right. at. So I'm probably gonna, just going to leave it there. Uh, I like this, this is my little box. That's a little Harbor Freight box, looks like. That's a Pelican case, yep. Oh, yeah. So we got we get those to carry, like, electronics and stuff at work. So right. I pretty much just drilled holes in there. Got USB. Yeah. This is my fridge. Um, I got a voltmeter. That's a my cool back. idea right there to keep it dry and everything. That's nice. I like that. Uh, these are pretty much just power ports. So if you had... Just, I have connectors that go in there nicely, but right. if you just had a bare wire and you needed 12 volt, you just stick it right there instead of trying right. to hold it on your battery. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I like that. I like that setup. And then I got another um, little cigarette lighter deal there. 
this, another voltmeter, just so you can know if one's going bad on you or not. Right. I think um, I need to upgrade mine. My voltmeter just, I think a couple of the little lights are out on it, so I need to upgrade mine. And you can see the wire loom here I have here. Um, this was actually underneath the hood of my forerunner. Right. So I just, I just pulled it out, and I said, I'm just going to use it how it is, you know, because wire is expensive. You right. Know? Little inverter. I got a an AGM battery there, so those are the sealed batteries. Right. It's only 67 amp or 67 amp hours. Right. And it runs this fridge for about three days before it gets to about 50 percent. Yeah. And this fridge is I can carry two weeks of food. I don't really want to do two weeks right. of food, but right. soda, water, uh, beer, cream Whatever. for my coffee. Right. But you can see it has a little thing, and it's sitting at 40 degrees wow. right where I want it. Yeah. All this other stuff is because I'm relocating. Right. So this is kind of, you can just act like this is not there. Right. And you can see here, I put this here, this here, just because I had them sitting around. Right. They become really, really useful. Handy. Really yeah, useful. for sure. Um, <laughs> this, I still don't know what I'm going to do with, but I paid, what, eight bucks for some... Right. Block out, it gets pitch black in here. Right. And I can still open and close. It's not nothing too fancy. Yeah. That's. Oh, cool. I got. What else are we going to do? Where do you want to. Did you. Do you understand? So here's the power in. And then um, I got one. This breaker is just going to these four. Right. And I have them set like this because I was going to finish my wiring and I might turn them up here to get them snugged up here if I need to. But. Like I said, I've been using it, right. and they're well, it's four is all I need. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> uh, I carry a shovel and axe right here. Cheap little PVC. Oh, yeah, that nice. That's cool. That's different. Cheap. cheap. I had this sitting around. Right. Um, same here. I got nice. A couple of weeks of toilet paper there. Um, let's go right here. So this was also in my forerunner. So as soon as I plug in there, right, starts charging my battery, and okay. you can see it's fully charged because it's not. This thing, if it sees twelve volt or one twenty, it picks one twenty. Okay. So it's running off camp power right now. Okay. Even though they're both plugged in. That's something we're going to talk to you about. Okay. Before I leave. Okay. That right there. Okay. So definitely. Um, what else? Um, oh, insulation. I got it one inch in the walls. All the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, all the way around. Uh, 1.5 inches on the roof. This I actually took from another guy building a camper. This is cedar. It smells great for about two or three weeks, and then the smell goes away. But yeah. it, it's, it won't get mold in case you get a leak or any of that I, stuff I up here. I like the little lights. I like the little lights in this. And the so. lights, that's low, that's high. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I like them better than ours, actually. So, I mean, they're pretty small little pucks in there. <clears throat> so, I know you said you was going to take some ideas from me, but I'm going to take some ideas. <laughs> All right, from I you. hope so. I was a little embarrassed to actually no, show you because you I, don't, I, I don't have it too no. set up nicely. But um, but that's okay. I these mean, are, these are three eighths, so I can mount stuff right to them. Right, that's really what right. I'm after. And um, this is my thermostat. Right. So. Wherever, like, if you're supposed to have this over here, right. just, you know, for such a small unit, this is for my fan. Nice. That's the, the max fan. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? This thing right here was a game changer. And it's just a simple little freaking, you know, oh, yeah. like a piece of conduit. Right. And I right. mounted it up there thinking, like, oh, I'll use it every once in a while. But it... I got, I got rid of my suitcase. Um, I dry my towel up here. Um, I can put way more clothes than I need. Right, there. right. Um, the line set, you can see. Okay. Yeah, I so see that. This is where I was trying to, this is where I got kind of screwed up on. I thought I could bend this tighter and then go. Yeah. 
But I was like, I started getting nervous bending it because I don't have too much experience. And so I said, you know what? I'll just make a loop here. Right. If I really need to, I'll build a rack. Right. I was going to say, you could, you could always change that too, right? I mean, that's not written in stone or, or is it if, with it being if, charged? If I if I decide to change it, I will have to Char- hire Char- a, a HVAC tech to okay. the tools to charge it. Yes, right. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So sure. you kind of get one shot. Right. And if you screw it up, then you're, you're, paying, you're paying an HVAC tech. Okay. All right. Um, All right. So I sleep on this. I pretty much just um, either put this outside and I lay right here. My right. dog sleeps right here. Um, I was trying to keep this whole thing open so I could throw quads in here, dirt bikes. My dirt bike mount is right there. So cool. I, I actually I have removed it, but you, you right. can see the little pins right, right here. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, you got a nice little rig here and you know you got a clean slate. So you can do anything you want to in the future. So I'm hoping that maybe uh, you'll. I, I can still carry toolboxes in right. hand, like a, a two, 2,000 pound toolbox. Um, and that's what I was trying to keep is functionality of the trailer right. and have a really nice camper. Well, I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> you start doing YouTube videos. <laughs> And start posting them so I can watch them. Okay, I will. I you know, will. because that's something, I, I mean, I learned from people, too. It's not like uh, I show everybody everything. Just, I learn, too, you know. Piece, you know, you don't have to copy everybody's stuff, but you no. can take little pieces and make your own. Yeah, like, and that's usually what I do a lot of times. You me know too. what I mean? I wanna, like this, I, like, I pieced this up from a guy, you know, that was. I'm going to show you something pretty cool here in a little bit. My buddy Daryl Stokes is building an off-grid cabin. I think I mentioned it to you. Yeah. I want you to see some of the walls he put in there and how easy and what he did is pretty awesome so i'll show you that later yeah and so what it what what else is really surprising is that i took when i first took the panels i pretty much took the panels off i put insulation on there i used the same exact holes put the panel right back on right what i what i noticed right away is how much stiffer it made oh this yeah thing it didn't push the walls out right but like all this stuff is just more sturdy and then i put these and that's on. the original wood right yep. is that's, the, that's original the original wood, wood. yeah and then i put these on to tie stuff down in here it made it even tighter parts, made it even tighter you know yeah. it's all connecting all the all the wall stuff right so i think it's pretty cool so, so yeah <clears throat> here it's like just trying to keep it open uh so I can fit a quad and a dirt bike in here. Right. Okay. All right, everyone. Hey, listen. Keep an eye out. If Pete starts doing videos, I'm going to put a link uh, in the description. When he starts doing videos, I'll put a link for his channel on there. And then we can keep up with what he does inside this thing. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Or a comment <laughs> if you'd like. Until next time. <laughs>